Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another Salesforce tutorial. We are going to be creating a new page layout. And this page layout is specifically going to be for lead gen users or lead generation sales users. So let's go ahead and jump into account from the object manager. From here, we're going to go down the side and go to page layouts. And you can see we already have different account page layouts. We have our general one, we have our support, our sales, and our marketing layout. But we're gonna go over here to new page layout. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create it from our existing sales layout. We're just gonna add a few things. For page layout name, we are gonna go to lead gen and click save. All right, this takes us to our page layout editor where we are going to edit the different buttons, um, the different buttons, different fields, and different related lists. We're just going to add a few types of fields. So you can see right here, we're going to add account source. This is something that usually lead gen people like to know. What other things? Let's see, we can look at buttons. And I'm actually going to add add to campaign. So then our lead gen users can add this account to a campaign. They can also see the company hierarchy. And prospecting insights. Let's see if we want to add any custom links. Quick actions. Let's go ahead and add new lead to our quick actions at the very top. And these mobile and lightning actions are used for the mobile app and each user will be able to have a set of predefined actions, but we're actually gonna override those. So I'm gonna move new contact. So that will be the first one that the lead gen sees when they are on the account object within the mobile app. Then I'm also going to add new lead. All right, and I think that's just about how we want it. So let's go ahead and click save. And then I'm going to go back in and I'll be able to show you with preview. You can see that we have our account source that we added and some of the custom buttons. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any other ideas for videos that I should do in the future or any tips.